So the avionics has been rewired and rerun, and the cable groups and all the connectors have been rerouted and secured. So let's turn it on and see what happens. Uh, we'll start with the power on. That's the main breaker over here on the firewall or uh, instrument panel. That's what actually brings 12 volts to the aircraft from the battery. You can hear the solenoid snap and then the Garmin comes on. And it'll come up in a minute. You can see the rest of the panel. Everything's coming along really nice. Just need it. Just need this last little bit. Okay, so the the Garmin comes up on the main EFIS. That's the uh, um, electronic flight instrument system, and it wants me to accept it. So I'll press the accept button, and then the the flight manager comes up. So the next one I want to push on here. They come in order is the engine uh, master. That brings all the power up to the engine, and that we're not going to start the engine though. That starts the fans to cool in the. Uh, uh, avionics compartment. Now we'll hit the avionics. Okay, they go in order from left to right. And now we'll hit the ECU and turn on the ECU, which is the uh, uh, engine control unit. And a fuel pump comes on for five seconds to prime the engine, and then it'll shut off. And some of the things you can see here, like the red X is on the RPM, and um, that says basically that. Um, we haven't calibrated the RPM yet, and you can see COM2, I have to program that out, there's no COM2. And then there's fuel in uh, gallons, I don't have the tank in, so I can't calibrate that yet. And I don't have the uh, pressure yet, so I can't calibrate that. So when all that comes up, then um, what we'll have is um, the, you know, the engine running and all the instruments will come up, there won't be any red X's. Okay, so that's where we are now, and I'll put on the... Uh, Forward uh, turtle deck is what they call that, and it'll cover up the avionics and everything's back together and we're good to go.